Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another day of vlogist. So I thought I would take you along with me this weekend on a weekend prep video. This weekend's gonna be a little different because we just got back from a week of vacation. So I have a lot of stuff to do. I need to grocery shop, clean out my fridge. Um, I have some food I need to deliver this weekend for lasagna love, just a lot of things. So you can come with me as I do it all. First, I'm super dehydrated, so I need to have some water. Actually, this company sent me, this is not sponsored by the way, they just sent me these to try. Um, it's called Her Power, these like water sticks. I don't know, I can link their site down below. I really, really like these. There's a peach mango, a coconut lime, pina, pina berry babe, which I think is pineapple, pineapple berry. Anyway, I like mixing them with my ice water, um, sometimes in the morning, just so I can get some extra hydration in, and they are All right, so first thing that we're gonna do, ooh, I got a little bit of the powder. <laughs> The first thing that we're gonna do today is actually go and pick up our dog um, from the place where he was being boarded. So <clears throat> if you've been following along with me on Instagram, I've been posting some pictures of him <laughs> at the boarding place. They post those on their website, which I think is super cool. Um, so we have to go pick him up. It's about a 40 minute drive. And then we also need to go to the post office and pick up all of our mail that was on hold. So yeah, it should be a busy day ahead. Let's do this. All right, so we've got slim pickings for breakfast here because I haven't gone to the store yet, but I do have some eggs in the fridge and some sausage, so I fried that up. And I think I'm just gonna make a cheese omelet with some sausage and then I'm gonna cut up some fruit. So we've got an omelet. This is just a plain um, cheese omelet. I put some chives on the top from my deck garden and then a sausage patty and some apples. So this is Adam's. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have. I don't usually eat breakfast like this on the weekend. So I might just have an apple with peanut butter. So I'm actually having one of these core keto bars for breakfast. These, um, I had them in the fridge. They actually came free with one of my Green Chef boxes. This is a chewy chocolate chip peanut butter. Um, they're like low carb, no added sugar. Um, they kind of remind me of the Perfect Bars, except the, the Perfect Bars are super high in sugar, and these are not, so anyway. I would definitely buy these again. Um, doesn't look like much, but it's good. Tastes like peanut butter and chocolate. All right, guys, so it is a um, little bit later now. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Adam and I went up to Iowa City to pick up Murphy, and we also ran to a New Pioneer Co-op, which is a grocery store up there. I picked up a few things that I can't get around here, and I need to go to Hy-Vee because they didn't have all of the stuff I needed <laughs> to make the lasagna dinner. Um, I wanted like a loaf of garlic bread and a salad kit, and they didn't really have what I wanted there. And also I need some disposable um, foil pans because that's usually what I bring the lasagna in. So the family that I'm cooking for today has six adults and four kids. So I'm gonna make three big lasagnas and I'm also gonna include some garlic bread and a salad. Um, so I'm here at Hy-Vee. I also have some other things I need to pick up like we're all out of bread and milk and just like fresh stuff like that produce that um, you know we didn't have obviously in our fridge <laughs> over the time we were in Colorado. So I'm gonna go do this. Uh, Murphy was very tired and uh, ready to fall asleep in the truck on our way home. And then Adam also won a lottery for, um, there's a liquor store in Coralville that does um, lotteries to purchase like rare bottles of whiskey. And you guys know he's like a rare whiskey. I, I wanna say he's so much of a rare whiskey drinker as he is a collector. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, he enjoys doing that kind of stuff, so whatever, whatever floats your boat, right? Um, but he entered the lottery last week and won the chance to buy a bottle of, I think it's called Blanton's Kentucky Whiskey. I don't I don't know all the names of this stuff, so anyway, he's gonna, he, we went and picked up that and then he found a couple other bottles that he wanted to um, get also. So anyway, more to do today. Uh, I also, did I say I want to clean out my fridge? Cause I need to do that too. It's like, it's like a mess. I think that there's like a couple of zucchini that maybe rotted in the bottom of the fridge while we were gone. Ooh. All right. So I'm home from the store now. I'm going to be making three pans of lasagna. So I have three pounds of ground beef here and I've just seasoned this with some salt and pepper, a little bit of minced onion and some uh, minced garlic. And I'm going to let this cook through until it is no longer pink and then drain it. All right. So my beef is cooked. I'm going to add one large can of crushed tomatoes and then two jars of marinara sauce 
sauce and then I'll just go ahead and season this to taste with um, extra salt and pepper, garlic, Italian seasoning, whatever I feel like it needs. So for the lasagna noodles, I know that some people just put them in the lasagna like dry without boiling them, but I always find that it soaks up way too much of the sauce and then the lasagna ends up being dry. So I just prefer to like par cook the noodles. So I'll probably boil these for just around three or four minutes just until they're a little bit soft and pliable but not totally cooked through. And then I just have um, a foil line tray here that I sprayed with some cooking spray so that they don't stick. And then I just kind of lay them out on there to cool um, so that I can assemble the lasagna. But I've got three boxes of noodles here. So I'm gonna have to cook one and a half at a time just because I'm using a smaller pot. I should have got out my big stock pot but that takes forever to come to a boil so okay so my meat sauce is done made a ton of that might even have some left over and then I've got some noodles cooling here and some noodles cooling over here next I'm gonna put together the um, cheese mixture okay so in this bowl I've got two uh, containers of cottage cheese two containers of ricotta that I've mixed together and I've seasoned it with salt pepper some dried basil and I'm going to put in three eggs since I'm making three uh, lasagnas and then I'm also going to add in some Parmesan cheese. This is maybe, I don't know, half a cup. I really don't measure <laughs> when I make lasagna. And I'm going to stir this together. All right, so now it's time to assemble. We've got cheese mixture, um, some shredded mozzarella. I've got my three lasagna pans lined up here. I am doubling these up. Um, just because they can be kind of flimsy. I've sprayed each of them with a little bit of canola oil spray, put some meat sauce in the bottom. I've got more meat sauce here and then my noodles. So I'm just going to assemble these. Sauce, noodles, ricotta, meat sauce, a little bit of mozzarella, noodles, repeat, repeat, repeat. All right, so here are the completed lasagnas. These turned out, well, I guess I don't know how they turned out because I haven't eaten them yet, but they look really good. Um, I did shred up a little bit of additional Colby Jack cheese just because I um, was running short on the mozzarella. So what I'm gonna do is um, cover these with foil. I'm gonna have to find a way to pack this stuff. Maybe I'll, uh, yeah, I think I have a box. Um, maybe put some cardboard in between the layers. Um, and then I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably put baking directions on them. Um, that way, if they wanna refrigerate them, they can or bake them right away all right so here are the three lasagnas I got them stacked up here with some baking instructions and then I'm also going to give them this large container of garden salad with a bottle of um, olive garden dressing and some croutons and then two loaves of bread like I said I think I said this it's for six adults and four kids so hopefully this should be more than enough food for them for a meal and if I haven't already said this I would definitely encourage you to uh, sign up to be a lasagna love chef if you can in your area I'll leave the link down below all right here we go so when you sign up for um, Lasagna Love, basically you can tell them how far you're willing to um, travel to deliver food. I'm trying to turn the air off so you can hear me. Anyway, you can tell them how far you're willing to travel to deliver food. and. I just don't think there are many people in my area that are um, signed up to receive food because I've been signed up to um, be a cook for, I don't know, I feel like it's been over two months now and there's only been two weeks when I've been matched with someone and so I did increase the mileage, I guess whatever, that I'm willing to drive to deliver food. So the place that we're going today is maybe about 15, 20 minutes away. It's in a different town, so yeah. And then I also joined a part of the outreach team too. Um, mostly I'm just gonna try and like promote on YouTube, but then I can also promote on Facebook too. When I told Adam I was doing that, he's like, he's like, are you gonna do one more thing? That's him when he gets, you know, he's like, one more thing, can you do one more thing? And I'm like, yes, I can do one more thing. And I will do one more thing and five more things. All right, we're here, I got everything packed up. I'm gonna right, deliver so this. I'm back home now. Here's what I'm gonna make for dinner. So I've got some asparagus here that I tossed with olive oil, salt, and pepper. And I've also got some chicken strips in here. Um, the kids. And then I'm gonna cook this asparagus in there. Hopefully it fits, whoops. And then we're gonna have some shrimp. Adam and I are gonna have shrimp and then um, I'm gonna make the kids some of this Annie's mac and cheese and probably a salad. All 
right, so here's dinner tonight, this is Adam's plate. We got some shrimp with some lemon. Uh, roasted asparagus turned out really good, some mac and cheese, cocktail sauce, and then I made him um, a salad just with some ranch and bacon bits and veggies. Coming back from vacation is always fun because you don't want to eat out because you've been eating out all week, but then you also don't want to cook because you're tired. But anyway, this is what we threw together, so better than takeout. Kind of the rest of my groceries put away after dinner here. Um, I did clean out some of my refrigerator. I probably should take everything out and wipe it down, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that this weekend or not. Um, I did end up being able to salvage some of the produce that was in here from last week. I still have zucchinis that are good, a pepper, some cucumbers. Um, this is what I got from Hungry Root. Of course, I have my citrus down here that's still good. Um, in my meat and cheese drawer, I still have some carrot from Trader Joe's. I'm not sure. I'll probably wash these off and see if I can use them. They're probably still good. And then this is just the turkey I got today. So um, there's obviously some cheese in here that's unopened that's still good from last week. And then in this drawer, I have some um, celery that I got today at the grocery store, some lettuce, peppers. I don't know about these peppers. I feel like, yeah, they're probably, they're still good. I put these pears in the fridge because they were like getting bruised. I need to be more careful when I bring them home from the grocery store. That's a fail on my part. Um, and then I still have this chicken from Trader Joe's. So I'll have to probably cut this up and we'll have it for dinner or lunches or whatever this week. But when before we went on vacation, I went to Trader Joe's and I'd actually plan on doing a Trader Joe's meal prep um, with like, I was going to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal prep from Trader Joe's, but I just didn't, I didn't get around to it. I didn't have time. Um, and so some of the stuff I, we just ended up eating on its own. Um, but obviously I still have that chicken left. I still need to wash up a lot of my fruit that I got today at the grocery store. So hopefully I can get that done tomorrow. But right now, I'm just going to get everything put away. And then I'm going to go upstairs and probably uh, work on the video that I need to post tonight for vlogging. All right, so just got my video published for today in the nick of time. It's 10, 11. Happy vlogist day seven. I think I'm gonna do some laundry now. All right, so I've got the dreaded vacation laundry that I need to do. Uh, so if you guys didn't watch any of my previous vlogist videos, we were gone for a whole week, just about. So we left on, I believe it was Saturday morning and came back like late Friday night. Actually, it was after midnight on Friday night. So yeah, we were basically gone a whole week. And so we have a lot of laundry to do. Uh, we were actually able to fit all of our clothes on just two checked bags, one of which was a smaller one. So I was glad about that. But of course, now we have a lot of laundry to do. I was under the impression that the hotel we were staying at had a washer and dryer, but they didn't. They only had a dry cleaning service. Obviously, we didn't need a dry cleaning service. <laughs> They had a laundromat that was, I guess, not too far away, but we ended up making our clothes stretch the whole time. But of course, now, you know, basically every single piece of clothing we took is dirty and needs washed. Adam actually did his laundry earlier today, so that's done. Sometimes I get questions. Why do you, why do you make your husband do his own laundry? I don't, first of all, we are both adults. We don't make each other do anything. Second of all, point being, he's an adult and he can do his own laundry. I don't feel like I should have to explain that, but anyway, I'm gonna get this uh, load going and then I think I'm gonna go to bed soon. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good Sunday morning, guys. I really, really, really slept in today. What time is it? Oh my God, it's 11.15. Uh, so yeah, I slept in until 10 o'clock this morning, uh, which is crazy. I don't really ever sleep that late, but here we are. I think I'm still catching up on sleep from uh, Friday night. So we um, flew direct from Denver to Cedar Rapids when we got back from uh, vacation. And well, if, if you ever have to fly into like a smaller airport, you know that there's like one choice, maybe two choices for flights and that's all you get. The only choice we had uh, returning was like an 8 p.m. flight. So originally we were supposed to get in at like midnight, but then um, there were delays due to weather. And so we didn't end up <clears throat> flying into Cedar Rapids until probably like 1.15 a.m. And then our bags had come in on a uh, previous flight. And so we had to wait for those. And by the time we got home, it was after two in the morning. Um, and so then obviously yesterday we had to get up and get the dog and stuff like that. So I think I just needed um, a little bit of sleep, <laughs> a little bit of extra sleep. And as you know, if you sleep in hotel beds, it's not like sleeping. 
<laughs> in your own bed so it's always nice to kind of get back home and I always miss my shower <laughs> when I'm gone um, because I don't know I mean some hotels that you stay at are like you know brand new and have like nice sort of like spa showers but this this family friendly resort was like not <laughs> It was not a nice spa shower. Not that I require that. Now I sound like I'm like being elitist or something. Anyway, whatever. I wanted to get back to my shower. Oh, and always the thing too when you travel is that you typically have hard water in hotels and we have a water softener in our house. So it always is nice to get back to that too. Anyway, so now I'm just kind of getting dressed for the day. I went to Hy-Vee yesterday and I realized I forgot like several things that I needed. I didn't get bread, I didn't get soda. I needed spinach for my smoothies. I forgot to get that. That's what happens when I don't make a list. But anyway, I can go back and I'm thinking about going to Walmart, um, maybe getting those today. So we'll see. By the way, do you like this tank top? It's from Torrid. These high neck tank tops, I love them. I bought one in like every single color. Um, and this one just happens to be like a purple and black pattern. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna put makeup on today. I actually got like some pretty good color uh, while we were out there. One day, which I didn't vlog this, we <laughs> ended up going to Waterworld. Uh, I'm just gonna use this La Roche Posay sunscreen today. Uh, we ended up going to Waterworld, which is allegedly the largest water park in America or North America. I'm not sure. Uh, so anyway, we went there. Anyway, we went there and um, it was really just like an overwhelming experience. Um, I had originally rented a cabana because we were supposed to go on Tuesday, but then we promptly arrived to our hotel and Kira and I um, got sunburned the first day we were there, which, you know, you would think after 38 years on this earth that I would figure out, you know, when and how to put sunscreen on, but apparently I, you know, think that I know better. And so we had to change our date. So we ended up not going on Tuesday, going on Thursday instead. Uh, I had originally rented a cabana, which when we had to change our date was unavailable on the new date. And so, um, it was hot. It ended up being like one of the hottest days we were out there. It was in like the high 90s. Uh, Colorado, I feel like is a little bit different. I feel like the humidity is not as bad here in Iowa, but you're also like higher altitude. And so the sun, I feel is just like hot. I mean, it's hot here too, but you know what I mean? So anyway, I would be curious to see if any of you guys have ever been to uh, this water world at Colorado before and what your thoughts were, because I just felt uh, that it was very large and overwhelming like the signage of how to like get to the different slides and stuff is terrible um, and if you've never been there before you kind of like don't know what rides you want to go on we ended up only going on like one water slide the whole time we were there um, which was like a it was like a water raft like slide where like me Kira and Connor could all fit in the same raft and ride down and it was really fun we went on the Razy li the Razy liver <laughs> we went <laughs> We went on the Lazy River, that was fun. Uh, the kids, we rented inner tubes and they had fun in the wave pool. Um, it is so, the park itself is so large that it probably takes you a good 15, 20 minutes just to walk from like one end of the park to the other. And like I said, there are no like clear signs. So you don't even know like really where you're going. I don't know, I feel like it's like Disney World. Like probably the first time you go to Disney World, you have no idea what you're doing and you need like help, you know? Um, but then like the more times you go there, it's like, oh, you know where things are, you know what you wanna do, but anyway. We were just so wiped after that day. After being in the sun all day, we were able to rent like a bungalow instead of a cabana, which was good because it was not, you know, in the sun, but it was still hot all day. Anyway, I think that Connor is still breathing from that day. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. He, uh, he played full out, but he had fun. We had fun. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do lip gloss and mascara today because I got nobody to impress around here. I need to go downstairs and do my dishes like bad. I don't know if you guys can hear the mower, but Adam's out mowing the lawn right now. So I did end up getting these, um, I can never do this on the camera. I did end up getting these rainbow earrings from Kendra Scott. A bunch of you guys messaged me on um, Instagram. Of course, I'm subscribed to their emails too, so I get those, but aren't they cute? They're like little rainbows. Okay, um, that's it. I'm gonna go downstairs and do some dishes probably.
guys with me to Walmart. It's been a while since I've had a leisurely stroll through here and I need to pick up a few things. So let's go inside. Adam said I have to hurry home because it's supposed to storm this afternoon. I don't want to get my car hailed on. These sweatpants look super comfy. They what sizes they have. I might get one for Kira. She loves sweatpants. Of course, they have all the school supplies out right now, so these are always fun to look at. Our district actually is um, supplying school supplies for the kids. They have for the last couple years, so normally we just have to pick up a few things, but I haven't gotten a list or anything yet. These canisters are cute. I feel like they're kind of pricey, though. You only get three for $20. I don't know. They're aesthetically pleasing. These water bottles are beautiful. Look at that. That is so pretty. I do not need any more water bottles in my life, but that's really pretty. These little Keurigs are so cute. I don't need one, obviously, but they have a water reservoir in them too. Ooh, I like that. They have a blue one, a red one, and a black one. Do you think these work? I kind of want to try them. They're silicone dish cloth. Apparently you just like put them on and you can wash dishes with them. I don't know. I'm skeptical, but they look like they'd be fun to use. So I used to get Rachel Ray's magazine, but now I think it's called Rachel Ray in Season. It, does it only come out like four times a year? I don't know. Sometimes magazines like this you look at and it's like, yeah, there's a couple of recipes, but then there's just other articles too. And it's like, I don't know. I'm not always interested in that other stuff. I kind of just want the recipes this magazine is actually pretty good i've seen it before it's the all recipes which i know you can get these like for free these recipes for free online but i don't know it's always i think it's always nice to have magazines but that's just me oh they have they really have a vegan oh yeah plant-based food veg news huh, cool the ultimate guide to black widow oh yeah we saw this we saw the black widow movie when we were out in colorado it was good, I would recommend it. I'm not even a huge, you know, superhero movie fan, but I thought it was good. Walmart is starting to kind of step up the game in the specialty food products. Like, I didn't realize they had these Mary's crackers here. And these must be new. I don't know what these are made out of. Brown rice flour, tapioca starch, quinoa flour, millet flour, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I haven't tried these before. These are pretty good. I've gotten them for the kids before and they like them. These actually, those actually look good. <laughs> gluten-free so it's healthy right snack cakes I'm just kidding all right so I'm done at Walmart I'm going to uh, wash my car because it was outside all week we were parked at the airport now it's super dusty so does anyone else get like weird anxiety trying to drive into the exact right spot in the car wash Am I the only one? I know! And then it's like, oh, there we go. And then you can like feel it on your tire and it's like, oh my God, is it gonna pop my tire? What is going on? <laughs> no, just me? Okay. Okay, so I thought I would share with you guys quick what I picked up from Walmart. Uh, got more produce for this week. Some blueberries, green beans. Those are gonna be for uh, dinner one night. I've been really liking to roast green beans in the oven. They're really delicious. Got some pineapple, some broccoli. I think I'm gonna steam this up for dinner tonight. Some dill. I also got some angel hair coleslaw. We're gonna have uh, barbecue pork one night this week. So that will um, go with that. I got some ginger because I wanna try this in my green smoothies. I don't know if I have any of this or not in the freezer. I think I'm out of ginger. I would have liked to buy a smaller <laughs> quantity, but uh, this was all they had. But anyway, you can freeze this if you weren't aware of that. Uh, I got some of these turkey sausage sticks. I prefer to buy the ones at Aldi because they're cheaper. Since I was at Walmart, I got those. Um, the kids like to snack on these. I also got some of this drive. How do you say this? Beef biltong? Biltong? Um, apparently it's kind of like beef jerky, but it's air dried. Uh, this is really good. I've bought this from Thrive before, but this actually had a coupon attached to it for $2 off. So um, I like to snack on this with like nuts um, and cheese uh, throughout the week. So got that. Got some spinach for my smoothies. And then I thought this was cool. I needed some cherry tomatoes and they had these little uh, like buckets of cherry tomatoes, which I thought was cute. And then they also come with this little snack size like container that you can use for tomatoes how cute is that so i thought that would be fun for connor to use in his lunchbox when school starts again um, i got some hawaiian buns when we have pulled pork adam and i probably won't eat buns so i just like to get these small packages of the hawaiian buns bless you so that um, just the kids can have them i got some butter i was all out of that 
some hot dogs. Um, I, was, I usually get like the Nathan's hot dogs, but they're out of those, so I got these instead. I got some ham, some Cracker Barrel cheddar cheese. Kira likes this as a snack. Some sharp cheddar cheese for sandwiches. Some shredded cheese for taco night this week. Hot dog buns. Um, I got some 2% milk. We were almost out of that. And then I got some coconut water for my green smoothies also. I thought I would try the coconut water with pineapple. That looked good. I got some bread. I forgot to get bread. Store yesterday, whoop. Um, some tall kitchen bags for my trash can up in my office. Uh, I also got some more stainless steel cleaner. I needed that and then some pledge. Um, Adam likes this degree spray deodorant. So I got some of that for him. And then one night I'm gonna make meatballs in the crock pot uh, with spaghetti and zoodles as well. So I got some Rayo's tomato basil sauce. Um, I got this old English cheese spread. Um, Adam really likes this on celery and I bought some celery yesterday. So I think I'm gonna cut that up and do some meal prep or like snack prep with that. I also got some of these green olives for Adam. He's really the only one that likes green olives. I do not care for green olives. I like black olives, but he already had a cup of these, so for him. And then I also got him some of these hard salami and pepper jack sticks. I thought he would um, like those to take to work this week. I got Kira some of the chicken pot stickers. She really likes those. These are in the frozen section. Some soup for Adam to take to work. This is the Campbell's Chipotle chicken and corn chowder. Um, I'm gonna try this Sir Kensington's Classic Ranch. Um, I have some chicken, like black and chicken tenders in the freezer that I'll probably eat that with. I've never tried this kind before, so hopefully it's good. Um, I got one of these Bug Soother Mosquito Repellent Candles. We really like the Bug Soother um, Bug Repellent, but I've never had the candles before, so I thought we would try that. Uh, okay, I need another coffee maker. Like, I need a hole in my head, but I have always wanted to try a pour-over coffee maker, so I got this at Walmart, so hopefully that will help me use some of my coffee grounds that I have <laughs> laying around that I need to get used up and then I got this for Kira's sink it's been I think she's got a hair clog in there so hopefully that will work I got some napkins some dove uh, bar soap for myself some goldfish crackers for the kids uh, I saw that they had these o cedar uh, mop head replacements and this is the type of mop that I have so I got one of these this one says it's antimicrobial which I thought was interesting and then um, I'm slowly kind of trying to replace our beach towels with um, not so like kitty kiddish ones like a lot of the ones we have now are like Paw Patrol and Monster High and My Little Pony and stuff. So I got two of these beach towels for the kids for swim. These were, I think, $7 each. I'll probably try to buy a few more when they go on clearance at the end of the season. I got some toilet paper. I got a trash can for Connor's room. He needed a bigger one. Um, I thought this sign was cute. I think I'm probably going to try and make um, a coffee bar once I decide to, <laughs> once I decide what um, hutch I'm gonna order and put over there in my dining room. It also says wine o'clock, which I probably won't be using that. I just basically got it for this because I thought it would be cute um, on a coffee bar. Okay, these are 50 cents, which I thought was interesting. These are a wide mouth mason jar infuser. So you basically can put like fruit in there and you screw it onto the top of a mason jar and it has a hole for a straw. I thought that would be a neat way to get more water in. Um, and then I got these sweatpants for Kira. They're just kind of like tie-dyed uh, lounge pants. And then I got this pink um, tank top for myself. I just thought it was a pretty color. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and I'm gonna get started cooking dinner. Okay, so for dinner, I am going to cook up some broccoli and then I've also got some potatoes I'm gonna roast. I just washed those, some chicken breasts, and I think I'm gonna dress the chicken with this uh, herby chimichurri sauce. I don't remember why I got this. I think maybe uh, either Imperfect Foods or Hungry Roo, I can't remember. All right, so I seasoned my chicken breast with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and I've got just my um, large stainless skillet that's oven safe because I'm gonna finish this chicken in the oven, but I'm just gonna add it to the pan. And then I'll brown this on both sides. Once I flip it over, I'm gonna put some of this chimichurri 
sauce on it, and then I'll finish the chicken in the oven. Okay, so flipped over my chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and add just like a little squeeze of this sauce to the top. Okay, I'm gonna let these cook on the underside until they brown a little bit, and I'll pop this in the oven probably for about 10 or 15 minutes to finish cooking through. Okay, so I've got my broccoli steaming away here. This pan, I get questions about it sometimes. It's one of those always pans. I honestly can't recommend this pan for the price of it. Really the only thing I use it for is for steaming veggies and I think you can probably get a way uh, cheaper pan <laughs> to steam veggies than that. Um, but I am going to make some caprese salad also. So I have a couple of tomatoes here and I'm going to slice those up along with some mozzarella and basil. All right, so we've got some caprese salad. Here's the chicken, it turned out really good. Um, that sauce is really flavorful. Haven's Kitchen, it's called. Yeah, um, so chicken, and then we've got some roasted potatoes and the broccoli that I steamed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my plate. All right, bon appetit. So I need to water my plants because I haven't watered those since we've been home from vacation. These plants have done really well, actually. I purchased them when we first moved into this house like almost four years ago now, and they're still going strong. So I've got one over here too. I need to water. I switch the positions of them every so often so they can get more sun, depending on what side of the living room they're on. Adam's mom gave me this plant. Oh God, I'm spilling. I'm spilling the water. She gave me that plant, and then she gave me this plant over here too. We have another one of these up in our bathroom. All right, so I just made some chia pudding that I'm gonna try tomorrow. I've never made this before. So what I did was I took some of this cashew milk yogurt, and I mixed it with some mashed up raspberries and just a few drops of stevia, a little bit of vanilla, and then some of these chia seeds. So we'll see, I don't know. I'm looking forward to trying it tomorrow. I'll have to let you guys know what I think. And then this is that mason jar topper that I got at Walmart. So I just put some water in this wide mouth mason jar. And then in the little reservoir there, I put some raspberries and some mint. So I think that will be delicious uh, tomorrow once it gets really cold. And then these were the leftovers that we had from um, tonight. Just some broccoli and chicken leftover and a few tomatoes and I'll probably eat that for lunch tomorrow. Okay, I also washed up these baby carrots and I'm gonna put them in the dish with these um, snap peas and we can have those this week with hummus. Okay, so I'm going to do some meal prep, probably just some breakfast sandwiches tonight. I was gonna do more, but I'm running out of time. It's almost nine o'clock. So I have these um, sprouted whole grain English muffins. I'm gonna make these breakfast sandwiches for Adam this week. So I have these, I have some green chili sausage that I thawed out, some green pepper and some whole eggs. These are the Vital Farms ones. So I think what I'm gonna do is dice up the pepper, saute that with the sausage, and then bake that mixture with the eggs in the oven in a pan and then I could cut it into squares and add cheese and make some uh, muffin sandwiches. So while the um, eggs were cooking, I made up these little celery stick for Adam to take to work this week. Um, I can link these little containers down below. I got them on Amazon. They're really cool for like snack meal prep. Um, but this is just some celery sticks that I put some of this um, cheddar bread in. So if you're looking for kind of a lower carb snack, this is a great idea. Okay, so here's what the eggs look like. Um, basically, I just put them in parchment paper so I could lift it straight out of the pan. And I have six English muffins, so I think I'm gonna cut this into six pieces. Unless I cut them in circles. Should I do that? Should I cut it in? No, I'm gonna cut it into squares, that way I don't waste any.
All right, so these turned out looking pretty delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up. Normally I just wrap them up with parchment paper so that Adam can um, microwave them, but this is a super easy way to prep a bunch of breakfast for the week. All right, there's our breakfast semis. Hey guys, good morning, how are you? I just realized as I was uploading the clips <laughs> to my computer for this video that I forgot to close it out, so I thought I would do that this morning. Thank you so much for coming along with me this weekend. Uh, it was nice to be home and get some things done. I don't think I shared with you guys my meal plan, um, but I did get that done, but you'll kind of be seeing what we eat this week in an upcoming What's For Dinner video. Uh, but I was happy with what I was able to get accomplished this weekend for so for whatever reason, I didn't feel like rushed or stressed or anything. I don't know. I'm sure that will go away <laughs> post vacation at some point. But uh, thanks as always for your support. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.